Before electricity reached farms and workshops, mechanical power had to be simple, reliable and efficient. Hit and miss engines achieved this by firing only when needed, skipping cycles to save fuel and control speed. That simple idea is what allowed them to spread everywhere. Once people saw one of these engines working, they wanted it immediately. Not because it was fast, not because it was advanced, but because it was dependable. In places where power had never been reliable before, these engines delivered it every single day. Within just a few years, hit and miss engines went from mechanical curiosities to machines people truly depended on. They didn't just power equipment, they quietly changed everyday life. After their early success, hit and miss engines spread rapidly. Farmers talked to other farmers, workshop owners shared demonstrations, word traveled faster than advertisements ever could. People quickly realized that these engines used very little fuel and required very little attention. They didn't need constant supervision, they didn't demand precise operation. This was not luxury technology, this was practical technology. For many families, this engine became the most valuable machine they owned. On a farm, reliable power meant survival. Water had to be pumped, grain had to be milled, feed had to be prepared, tools had to be driven. Before engines, these tasks required exhausting physical labor or animals. A single hit and miss engine could take over the hardest work. It powered pumps, mills, separators and small machines. For the first time, farmers had mechanical power available whenever they needed it. Not only when conditions allowed, once that happened, there was no turning back. What made hit and miss engines especially valuable was their flexibility. They were not built for one specific task. Using belts, pulleys and line shafts, a single engine could power multiple machines. In the morning, it might pump water. Later, it could grind grain. By evening, it could drive workshop tools. As load increased, engine speed dropped allowing the governor to release and firing cycles to resume. This simple mechanical response made the engine incredibly adaptable. To many owners, it felt like the engine understood the work being asked of it. Hit and miss engines quickly moved beyond farms they became the backbone of small workshops and rural industries. Carpenters used them to run saws and planners. Blacksmiths used them to power blowers and mechanical tools. Small factories used them for presses, drills and machinery. Entire workshops were designed around a single engine. Belts ran along ceilings. Shafts transferred motion across rooms. When the engine ran, everything ran. This was the centralized industry in its purest form. As demand increased, manufacturers expanded production. Companies like Fairbanks Morse, Hercules, International Harvester, Stover, Vite, Novo and many others produced engines in large numbers. These were no longer experimental machines. They were standardized products. Engines were ordered through catalogs, shipped by train and delivered by wagon. You didn't need access to a factory. The factory delivered power directly to you most hit and miss engines were modest in size, 1 horsepower, 3 horsepower, 5 horsepower. But these engines were designed for steady torque at low speeds. They handled heavy loads smoothly and efficiently. 
they did exactly what they were designed to do without excess complexity. This balance between simplicity and capability is why they spread so widely. They were not overbuilt, they were not underpowered, they were practical. Mobility greatly increased the value of these engines. Many were mounted on wheeled frames. This allowed a single engine to serve multiple tasks and locations. It could be rolled from a pump to a mill or from one workshop to another. Instead of power being fixed in place, power became mobile. For many owners, one engine replaced several manual systems at once. What truly earned loyalty was reliability. These engines were easy to understand, easy to maintain, easy to repair. If something went wrong, it was visible and mechanical. Owners learned to recognize changes in sound and rhythm. Over time, the engine became a familiar presence. Predictable, dependable, trusted. Hit and miss engines proved themselves under difficult conditions. They operated in dust, heat and cold. They tolerated inconsistent fuel quality and minimal maintenance. When windmills failed and animals were exhausted, these engines kept running. For many people, that reliability meant security. Water continued to flow. Food production continued. Work continued. By the 1910s and 1920s, hit and miss engines were everywhere. They were no longer unusual machines, they became a normal part of everyday life. Farms, villages, workshops and small factories relied on them daily. They became so common that people stopped talking about them, and that is often the clearest sign of success. The impact of these engines was subtle but powerful. They reduced physical labor, they increased productivity, they saved time and energy. They allowed people to focus on skill rather than brute strength. Without attention or headlines, they reshaped rural life. Before electricity reached much of the world, hit and miss engines had already transformed it. They proved that small, simple machines could deliver dependable power. They showed that reliability mattered more than speed. By the 1920s, hit and miss engines were not just machines. They were part of how everyday life worked.